राहु इज नॉट बैड एंड राहु इज नॉट गुड इधर राहु इज जस्ट अ स्मोक एंड स्मोक इज अ स्मोक यू जस्ट कांट गेट अवे फ्रॉम इट वॉट इज दिस स्मोक ऑल अबाउट दिस स्मोक इज योर ऑप्शेशन टू सैटिस्फाई योर डिजायर्स द वर्ड इज ऑप्शेशन ऑप्शेशन सिंपली मीन्स यू आर पेइंग टू मच अटेंशन एंड एनर्जी टू समथिंग विच इज नॉट दैट इम्पॉर्टंट आउट ऑफ प्रपोर्शन यू हैव बिकम फोकस्ड हिप्नोटाइज बाय समथिंग राहु हिप्नोटाइज यू टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट यू कैन डू एनी थिंग जस्ट टू गेट टू द गोल जस्ट टू गेट टू द पॉइंट ऑफ अट्रैक्शन ऑप्शेशन इज अ काइंड ऑफ हिप्नोसिस दैट यू क्रिएट फॉर योर सेल्फ दैन एवरीथिंग एल्स डिसअपियर्स इन योर लाइफ एंड ओनली वन थिंग रिमेन्स दैट बिकम्स योर फोकल पॉइंट योर लाइफ बिकम्स वन डायमेंशनल दैट्स ऑप्शेशन लाइफ has to be multi dimensional but when the rahu connects with any planet it makes you one dimensional so if you have mars plus rahu you will go on thinking only of sex only of sex 24 hours a day deep down in their minds it is always lurking they may be doing something else but they are thinking of sex then it is an obsession you see this is how the smoke creates an obsession based on the planet it is placed with there are people who are obsessed with food there are people who are obsessed with work they continuously keep thinking of food of work and it can be a positive obsession or a negative obsession rahu is obsession there are people who call themselves celibates monks brahmacharis and yet they are continuously thinking of sex too in a negative way such people are folks who have jupiter afflicted by rahu in some way or the other so you see the smoke operates based on the planets that it associates with what are planets planets are simply the reflection of your qualities guna when a planet is exalted you have great qualities related to that planet when venus is exalted with all beneficial aspects you have someone as beautiful inside out person who is not just beautiful but is truly compassionate towards his or her fellow beings so when a certain smoke accumulates around the planet qualities you see some dark shades to those qualities rahu plus venus gives a beautiful mask but behind that mask there is a great obsession towards romance art love relationships partners and sex but mars with rahu is total obsession towards the energy Rahu plus Venus gives a beautiful mask but behind that mask there is a great obsession towards romance art love relationships partners and sex but Mars plus Rahu is total obsession towards using the energy for selfish desires sex tantra black magic etc here there is simply an obsession towards physicality no art 
no love, no positivism. It is straight away nailing obsession towards getting things done without bothering what way is being chosen for the same. So Rahu simply spoils the game and a spoiler cannot be good or bad. A spoiler is a spoiler. So it is good to see when the Rahu is placed alone in a house. That way the smoke is there, but it is at least not directly affecting the individual's quality. Let it be very clear that Rahu is your own creation. So don't blame Rahu for spoiling your life. You have come to this world because of your desires. This desire is represented by Rahu. And so you have to first learn to accept the fact that it is not Rahu who is affecting your life. It is not the nuclear bomb that is to be blamed. It is the man who created this nuclear bomb is to be blamed. And so when you see your marriage failing and you are blaming your Rahu placed in the seventh house, then you have learned nothing in this life. The next life, you will be in the same place with the same miseries. Life repeats itself mindlessly unless you become mindful. It will go on repeating like a wheel. And that is the greatest tragedy of human life. Whenever you have a problem, you visit an astrologer. And then the astrologer tells you, this is the reason Rahu is placed in so and so house. And then you are satisfied. But no one ever is willing to ask why Rahu is there. The question why is never asked. You will ask why I have this or that problem. But you would never ask further on why a certain planet is in a certain position. Nobody asks. Nobody asks. People are simply happy to find a shallow reason and that is how everybody is happy living a shallow life. Rahu is a shallowness. The smoke is just on the outside. It never goes deep. It is not interested to know the root of the cause. As long as you remain ignorant, the smoke is happy. Rahu is ignorance. Ketu is depth. Never underestimate a man whose moon is with Ketu. If other aspects support, then such a man is not only brilliant, but a genius. He has a certain depth that a Rahuish man can never understand. A certain quality of understanding has to be there. Only then the truths can be given. Ketu has the divine power to bring a certain understanding which Rahu does not have. Rahu will go on and on and on. He has the accumulated knowledge of the whole world, but that is all. A man may know the whole world. 
he may have all the knowledge of the world but if he is not aware of his own self then he remains an ignorant fool to ask who you are is the quality of rahu to ask look within self inquire who am i is the quality of ketu rahu traps you ketu liberates you ketu moves you to basic question the question of your existence the question of your existence of yourself who am i not the body because it is decaying not the mind because the brain will decay with the body not the personality nor the emotions for this also will vanish with death truth is only to be found in a deep silence knowledge is a noisy truth is found only in silence rahu is being obsessed with intellectualism ketu is more driven towards intelligence all of you who have read my book how to overcome rahu should definitely read this book why ketu can heal especially if you are in rahu mahadasha or ketu mahadasha those who are about to get into ketu mahadasha should definitely read this book why ketu can heal because this book will help you all to understand the true essence of ketu in the following videos i will be sharing many more things with you all and i thank you all for following me on kora and for reading all my answers and also reading my books i think this is a long journey and we will be together in this thank you jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम